very good morning friends so today i am going to show the demo for java database connectivity how to connect java program or database any database with java program so this is uh, basically uh, you have a table in your uh, backend and uh, you are going to retry by using your java program for that we are going to create a table using access so i have uh, ms access in my system so i am going to create the table in ms access now what i have to do is first i have to create the database so please select the option called blank database then after that you have to give some name for your database i am giving it as employee database So I am going to create this particular employee database in my D drive. So I am selecting D drive and OK. Now I have to click the create button employee. So you can see the extension employee.accdb. So just click create. So the employee database is created. Now you can see the top of the particular screen. database name is employee access 2007 and you can see here in the left hand side table 1 table so just right click this particular table and you can click that particular option called design view and we are going to create the table called employee so i am giving name as emp emp in small case okay and i am giving okay then here you have to mention what is the field name you want to have for your table so first field i am giving emp id emp underscore id and that employee uh, id may be in the form of uh, text so mixture of uh, alphabet and number so next field i want to have uh, employee name so emp underscore name so after that emp name so name also in the form of text then you can just click this view option so it will ask you you must first save the table say yes now you have to give the value so i am giving em e123 employee name anand E two three four employee employee name Rajesh. E three four five employee name Ramesh. So now I have created the table in Access. So this is my backend. I am creating the table in MS Access. I have created the database. then after that i am creating the table so now i have to save and i have to close it so i have closed the ms access then after that i have to write the java program so you can see in the header uh, program for java database connectivity using access so access only we have created the table so very first line import java.sql.star that means so adding all the packages to this particular program so java.sql.star so adding all the uh, packages to this particular program then next line class jdb so i am giving some name so class user defined class name so uh, jdb is the name i have created so class definition start from this particular open flow brace then after that this is my public i mean this is public static void main is nothing but my main function syntax in java okay public static void main string arguments so this is my main function then main function starts here for that we are giving this uh, open flow braces here 
then after that so i am going to put all this connection uh, coding under this particular try block so why we are using uh, try block means so if your program when you are compiling and executing there might be some error in your program even though if it is having some error your execution will not stop so for that purpose we are using the try block at the end we are using the catch block also then after that try block open flow braces for the try block then after that class dot for name class dot for name using this particular syntax we can add this particular driver to this particular program so sun is uh, nothing but uh, mentioning the sun microsystems so the company which was previously owned by so sun microsystem so they are the original owner of uh, java programming then sun dot jdbc is nothing but java database connectivity then after that odbc oracle database connectivity then you have to mention the driver name jdbc odbc driver then after that string url so you have to mention the url name url it is nothing but uniform resource locator we have to mention uh, jdbc then odbc and after that we have to mention the data source name so we will see in the demo what is meant by data source name so jdbc java database connectivity then after that odbc then data source name then very first step uh, for java database connect connectivity loading the driver the next step is so creating the connection so this is my connection class con is the nothing but user defined object so driver manager this is my driver jdbc odbc driver so a driver manager adding the connection string to the driver manager driver manager dot get connection so you are getting the connection using the driver manager and specifying this particular url jdbc odbc then followed by data source name then after that we are going to create the statement so statement class then after that statement object is equal to connection object dot create statements so this create statement is nothing but method create statement is method which is used to uh, connect with the connection object so it is going to create some statement that statement is going to be passed into that particular database then like next line result set result set again uh, rs is the object is equal to statement you are referring the previous line statement dot execute query again here also execute query is nothing but the method which is used to execute the query whatever we have given inside the double quotes select star from student so we have created the table name as uh, emp so i am giving select star from emp so selecting all the value from the particular table called emp and store it in a variable called result set rs this rs object then system dot out dot println class is selected so this is for user understanding and the next line also system dot out dot println so this is also found row so when we are executing the program so this line found row will be executed first then all the values which is selected in the employee data employee table will be there in the particular rs so now we have to execute the values so select all the values and we have to display it in a um, command prompt for that while rs dot next so this is like a pointer so it is going to uh, read all the values which is there in the table so we are going to see the emp table now so this is my employee database 
and uh, I am clicking double clicking this particular thing EMP underscore ID EMP underscore name that I have to mention here in my coding so so EMP underscore ID again second field EMP underscore name so we are uh, going to retrieve only two field so we are going to print that two field also so same thing you have to put EMP underscore ID again EMP underscore name so this while loop will be executed until that particular uh, uh, until the uh, particular uh, uh, thing will reach the end of file so first it is going to get the first row record employee id then employee name then second record employee id employee name and third record employee id employee name so we have only three record this result set will be like uh, moving like a pointer so first it will read e employee id first row e123 then after that anand second row e234 rajesh then third row e345 ramesh so then after that there is no record it will come to that end of file so this while loop will stop here after executing all the three rows then after that we have to close the statement object statement dot close then connection dot close the connection which you have established here we have to close that also then at the end so we have to catch the exception is there any exception we have to catch so catch exception e we can mention like catch exception e so is there any error it can be arise during the execution it can be caught by the particular block called catch exception that's it so programming part is over so i am going to save it as jdb 1.java so jdb 1 uh, or I, can, I have to give some some other name jdb emp so now i have to save the program save as option so jdb emp dot java jdb emp dot java then you have to select all files option so save it then after that what you have to do is you have to go for the search odbc data source name so odbc data source name so i am going to create new D jdbc i mean dsn name so for that what you have to do is so odbc data source administrator just click this add option so select this particular option microsoft access driver star.mdb and star.accdb so click finish and we have to mention the data source name you want to have it so data source name is nothing but it is like a broker java is one particular technology front end technology and the ms access is the back end back end so they both do not know each other so we need a broker so that is nothing but data source name so i have given as test then select this particular option go to the d drive so there i can, you can find employee.accdb which you have created just now so click that one click ok so this is the configuration we have to do so connecting the table with the dsn name then after that you click ok then 
now we have to run our program so we have to run by using the command prompt so command prompt so cd double dot change the directory cd double dot then after that cd jdk jdk 1.3 then cd bin so java c jdb emp dot java so that is a program name then java jd emp so class names is mistake so java jdb emp so you can see the record is retrieved from the access database so you can see the output found row e123 employee id is 123 anand e234 rajesh e345 ramesh so that is the output so we have successfully retrieved the uh, table data which is there in the employee table it is stored in employee database and we have retrieved successfully by using our java program that's it thank you so much